Yo ho ho, and here we go. How's everybody doing today? You're back with BJ and Co. and our Minecraft tutorial series. We're continuing on in Dungeons and Dragons and Space Shuttles and working our way through the quest lines. We are going to be tackling a few more advanced things today, some in the uh, Blacksmith Workshop, some in Main Quest Line 1, uh, everything that we can do to push as far forward as possible, because that's what you guys are here for, figuring out how to get these things done and see how the balance goes back and forth, um, collecting everything, which is fantastic. So hope you guys have been enjoying this. If you do like that, hit that like button. That's what it's called, right? Um, and uh, if you've got questions comments anything throw it down in the chat i love talking to you guys we've had a lot of activity in some previous ones don quixote uh had some really good comments which is part of what we're we're going for today actually we're pushing in the blacksmith's workshop so that we can actually get something that allows us to duplicate our ores a little bit or not quite duplicate 1.75 percent so um anything's better than nothing because ores are hard to come by so we want this fluid extractor but to get the fluid extractor, we need a bit more silicone than what we've got. So first and foremost, I want to start things off in here. And we're going to talk molten silicone. So molten silicone is, we, we used silicone before, right, to get the, the circles, uh, the silicone bools. Uh, but now we can actually use it as a liquid is what we're working towards. So solid silicone cells is what we need to make, which takes a bool in an empty cell. So there's two pieces that we're going to need. We're going to need the bool and the empty cell. Bools are not hard to make. We've all done plenty of that. So we need our sawdust. We need our block, our coal, our sand, and our clay. Now, this is one we may have talked about it a bit, but I always like to remind everybody that if you want to skip some stuff, there is Sandy Soul Compound. You can buy 10 of them for 3 gold and 5 silver. However, we haven't made that much yet. I looked. I'm like, I want to cheat my way through it. But no, we've only got 2 gold worth of stuff. So... That we haven't quite gotten to yet, um, but it's a nice thing. So our Sandy Soul compound is, let's just make sure we, we remember what it is. So five on the bottom, coal in the middle, clay at the top, and two of those. So there, 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 and there, and that gets us ten of these. Now these guys, we just smelt on up to get the bulls. So I've got 16 of them. We're going to set them, and that will give us the couple things that we need. Um, so while that's getting on, because we're going to need those pieces, we're going to go back to the blacksmith's workshop. And what we really are pushing for here is the fluid extractor so we can start getting the methane and latex that we need in order to use the blacksmith workshop and keep working on there. So this is a big one. Uh, we need our iron plates. We need stone. We need two silicone. We need the tree tap. We need glass. We need another wood tank, which we used up the one that we've had and we need a copper gear so quite a few things i've collected i think all the all the jazz that we need first and foremost why do i feel like i didn't i feel like i need some wood still um so we need these all around the outside boom we need four glass boom we need these guys in the corner we need the tree tap up top we need a copper gear, and a copper gear is relatively easy. We just need four copper around. We need our wood tank again, which, again, just glass around oak wood. Not a hard one. Doesn't hold a lot. We're going to grab our silicone bool. I have, I have one left over here, but it's not enough for what we need. Eh, of course I used my saw. Every time I try to do something nice, I don't have what I need. I like the artisan tools in this. I find it's quite a nice setup um, in how it forces you to kind of make what you need. But when you don't have what you need and you're like, crap, I need to make another one, is always, always a bit frustrating. So we've got two of these guys in here. We've got the tank. We've got the copper gear. Boom, we have a fluid extractor. And this fluid extractor, we also have our hummus. So... This gets us some wood, some ore, and coins. I like coins. That's always good. We'll grab that. And what does this unlock next for us? Ha! Flutomatic and empty cells, which is really interesting because we need some cells for the other stuff. So the flutomatic, uh, to extract methane gas from your machines, you need a fluduct and servo. As a small thank you to play my fire park, I provide a little gift for you. Fluducts and servos. So 
this is a nice little step. It gives you what you need, gives you another thing. Uh, flu ducks themselves will detect, submit, and grab it. Uh, but let's take a look before we go too far is Fluduct. I pressed the wrong button. Fluduct. Fluiduct. Fluiduct. Uh, we'll need the engineer's workshop, so need some of the silicone, copper, glass, and copper, so it's not too crazy to make. Um, but it is handy that they gave us a little bit of what we need to get started smooth things out so next is empty cells and we're gonna be needing a lot of these in the game what's interesting is you can tell you're gonna need a lot I always like looking at what things cost in here so everything in the bottom is different things that we can pick up there is some methane there is I'm sure there was silicone in here at some point yeah molten silicone you need the cells to buy it you need gold and silver to do so of course they allow you to buy empty cells for a platinum to get 64 which is nine gold coins so little expensive little expensive but what do we need what do we need what do we need we're gonna go back into blacksmith's workshop empty cells four empty cells we need which is magically exactly what we need um, it makes exactly what we need go figure so this needs tin so we'd gotten tin one or two episodes ago we had found some underground so we just need some plates we need a glass pane and we need tin ingots and the hammer. So I've collected this stuff ready to go as always. Don't want to waste your time. You guys are here for efficiency's sake, right? So first things first, we need glass panes. You guys should know how to make these by now, but if you don't, it's just the sixth class. We drop all this stuff together and boom, we've got four empty cells ready to go. Go. Ooh, ooh. So with these empty cells, we get a little more tin. That's always nice replaces a little bit of what we used um, and it's great like we will be using a lot of these because the transportation of these um, items around is something that we use quite a lot of throughout the block the course of all of this so the next thing we need is filling cells um, so now we need methane gas um, we need to get methane gas first. So how do we get methane gas? Well, this is what our extractor's for. So we're going to we're going to grab our extractor that we had. And how the extractor works is you just put it down. It's nothing too fancy, it doesn't look too crazy. <coughs> but you can see it's got one side that's all chewy stuff up. If we right click in here, you can see what's in here. It's got room for eight buckets worth of stuff. You've got some containers, and all we need to do is put down what we need to get the, the gas. So if we back out for a second, go back to the fluid extractor, um, oh, it doesn't actually tell us what it is. Ha ha ha. So if you want to see, you can just look up the fluid extractor. Why does it not? There we go. If you right click it in here, you can see what it makes. So any type of wood gives us latex. Um, the hummus that we had made in the previous episode is what gives us the methane gas. So we're going to go grab that hummus. Oh, I literally already had it. Good job, Ben. Good job. So this hummus and initially not, we won't be automating this, but that is something. So we're, we're just going to put the hummus down and now it should be working and start collecting the methane gas. And we should be able to put an empty cell in there. And once this hits a thousand millibuckets, it should fill up with methane gas. And that should give us what we need for the next piece of this. So we've got the methane gas uh, working to help us get some more biomass and pieces that we need. Uh, we can make a compost block. Nothing too crazy. All it takes is wood and a wood casing. So let's go get what we need. Uh, wood casings, if you've been making the storage chests, you will by far know how to utilize them now. But there's two things we need. First, we need the wood casing, which is this in the middle. I think four sticks like this. And four of these. Nope. I always find I do that with, with recipes. I rotate them by one from what they're supposed to be. And then to make the actual compost, that's all we need to do. I feel like compost needs to go outside. 
I think that's the only right right way to do it. We'll stick it by the front door. How's that sound? Um, so the compost brock. Um, so we'll need it for biomass. We get some good coins out of it, so it's not a bad idea to complete. Biomass. Um, we need to put our compost into the compost block. One compost will convert to one slimy ba biomass after about 2.5 minutes. So we need... The compost like we've been using and the compost is just dirt and wheat so we've got some more of that it's the same thing that's used to make hummus so good one to remember how to utilize and we should be able to uh, let's put you down first get you in place Ugh. there we go make lots of compost and then we just go out to our compost and it does take time this is not a quick one but we'll dump We'll dump the compost in there, and it'll slowly work on that piece. So, boom, boom, boom. How's our methane doing? We now have a methane gas cell. So that, you can see it's still working on this block. It's got a lot to go, uh, but we've already gotten one bucket of methane gas. And we will be using methane into here. Right now, I won't uh, hook up any, uh, any fluid ducts to automatically transport it until we start getting a bit further into these cells or these quests. So we're going to fill in cells. We've got the methane gas. It gives us more methane gas. Now we need um, more artisan tools. So these are tools that will allow us to utilize these areas, the, the blacksmith workshop and the engineer's workshop, um, throughout the course of everything. So, new tools, new tools, new tools, new tools. Planks and ingots. What do I have good ingots of? I guess we're using some iron now. I can't wait to get the squeezer. And it's, it, it, Don Quixote has been fantastic and he's like, you should, you know, you could just get it early, but I don't want to ruin the experience for you guys. I don't want to get it early. I want to uh, let it us get there at the proper time, but definitely look at the squeezer from Integrated Dynamics if uh, if you haven't gotten there yet. If you want to get more stuff, that is what you want to do. I mean, let's see here. Why don't, why don't we even give you guys a sneak peek of what we're going for? Because it really, you get it early and it won't matter, and you know how to do this. You've got the advanced crafting, you need stone, you need iron plates. Not crazy. But that's just my two cents. Oh, speaking of the squeezer, there it is right there. Ha, 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 ha. Silly me. Uh, so we can get it for using to squeeze gas as well, too. So I guess I guess we're doing that, guys. Uh, where's my stone? We got my stone. Do we have six iron plates? We have two iron plates. And we've got enough to make more iron plates. So, one, two, three, four. I declare a thumb war. Five, six, seven, eight. Now, it should work with this kind, I think. Boom, squeezer. Done. And this one is awesome. This one's got a whole bunch of different recipes that it works with. Um, I'm going to put this guy... So I think, do we just jump on this? Yeah. So you just jump on it to actually squeeze things. And we're going to want to make a button as well. And this is the one I can never remember how. There we go. I think we can just put the button right on top. Yeah. So the button is what resets it. And we're going to show you guys how the squeezer works before we get the biomass. But we can actually use it. You can put, you can put blocks in there. And you just jump on the top. And eventually we get something. And look, oh, we got two pulverized iron. And it's a guaranteed drop of one and a 75% drop of another. And then we just we just pop this out, put it back in, and we jump a little bit more. And we get it. Oh, Don Quixote is going to be so happy. I'm not ignoring him. It's just finding the right jumping spot. you got to jump right in the middle. Is my button in the way? There we go. you got to be careful not to hit the button. I think you can put the buttons on the side too. Um... We could try that. Let's let's see if that behaves the same too. Might make it easier. Nope. Oh, yeah, I can just put it beside it. Done. Much easier. Gets out of the way. So that works great because now we can take this pulverized iron. 
pulverized iron and we right click it and if we smelt this we still get an ingot so we are duplicating how much ore we can get which is fantastic iron iron so i'll work on a little bit of that off stream do we have the biomass yet do we do we we got 20 biomass in here why are you not letting me pick up the biomass there we go so with this biomass now that we have it is um ooh, coins always coins i don't like the uncertainty of stuff so squeezer we put it jump on top um the interesting thing and, and pay attention to this one if you're using a squeezer you need to make sure you've got a tank beside it because otherwise you'll just use the stuff um redstone signal resets the position the squeezer can also be used to double ores so really good thing for us to get we are going to pick this guy up that's the interesting thing you put it down and then it doesn't recognize that you've done it yet so there we go we get a piston a bookshelf and more coins so a few more things so i got what i want mm. we're doubling horse so doing good here i mean i think we can start working on a few more of these tasks where we're we sitting at 16 minutes let's get those done let's get these done so we need pliers is the next one in this pliers just we need two we need a string we need sticks do i still have sticks on me i don't i still have sticks on me i doubt i have any sticks right now so string i've been farming my string tree it's been working great uh sticks we want a few sticks and this one should be two four six Ugh. I find this mod pack just runs a little slow in my in my world of things. I gotta dump some more crap out of my inventory. We got our pliers. This should give us some more stuff. Ooh. I think out of all of this, iron is the highest durability. So I'm gonna grab it. Uh when it comes to building stuff. And then the next piece we have the mining hammer. So this is the one that's gonna allow us to actually start using the blacksmith forge. Uh, or blacksmith workshop where we need ingots we need sticks we need the methane more than a bucket's worth of methane and we need some tools the pliers the hammer the this stuff but i think we leave that for next time where we actually use the workshop i still have a big one that i want to deal with right now and that's going back to molten silicone because we talked about this one so to make this we just need the bulls and the empty cells and we should have those because we've got bulls and we've got empty cells so we can make two of those bada boom bada bang we got molten silicone now what's more expensive the nice thing is when we utilize these we get the cells back so i think i'm going to grab more silicone uh and now the next step is molten silicone so how, how do we make molten silicone well we just smell what we just made <laughs> Bada boom, bada bing. Not hard at all. We get this moving. I am so excited to have all this stuff moving, moving, moving. Um, now, a neat thing while we're kind of waiting for this to smelt up that I want to point out is if you look at this area, especially in main quest line one uh, and zero, is, well, there's nothing in zero actually, but once you get to main quest line one, there's some indications of what you need to actually progress and what's a side quest. So if you look here, you can see uh, the engineer's workshop's got this fancy border and the dank null has no border so this is just kind of a side quest these ones that have the fancy border are pushing you towards the next quest line so i'm gonna have to get the mineral stuff i'm gonna have to do the sandy glass compound so why don't we do it sandy glass is uh and this is what's working towards super glue for us so to make sandy glass we need sandy glass so funny so hard oh i i have something else i can be ready to do so we do 10 sand, we do 10 glass, all together, sandy glass, boom, done. Nothing to worry about. Get rid of these things. I've got so much crap in my inventory right now. Okay, sandy glass is done. Um, so with this one, I want to get, I think, more sandy glass. Because again, empty cells we've got, even though they're expensive. Now the dust, we need 10 dust for the next step. Oh look, mortar and pestle crushes things to dust. I, I like how... It gets some consistency behind it where it's like oh i've done this i know how this works you know 
something needs to be crushed, likely the mortar and pestle is going to be my good starting place for it. This gets us more glass, more cells, more copper coins. You, you can see the amount of cells that we're getting shows how much we're going to be using them. And we'll get to that next time. I think, I think this is a good place to call our quits. We, we figured out how a lot of these gases work. We've made quite a bit of work on the blacksmith piece. I mean, we, we started here and we've cruised all the way to here. And we're going to next time actually use the blacksmith. We're also, uh, as we're working towards that, because blacksmith, I think, is kind of the first step. You can make your iron tools, your, your um, higher level tools that you normally expect from base Minecraft out of this now work new workshop so we'll go that route but after we finish that we're going to keep pushing this way because tinkers is tinkers and tinkers is amazing and i love tinkers and having things that can mend themselves and you know be customized to how you like to play and have better attributes so worth it so those are the two that we'll be pushing for at the same time that we are, of course, still pushing main quest line one to get more automation, more power, because I don't want to jump on a squeezer. I want something that does it for me. So we're going to get there. So appreciate you guys all being here. I hope you've been finding this helpful. If you have, let us know down in the comments below or just hit that like button. It goes to show just if it's going well. And the more traction we get on this stuff, the more likely we're going to be do them and put them out faster. Um, we've had a few people ask if things can come out quicker. So maybe maybe I'll sneak a few in there if if you guys are all interested. We'll see see how much time I have in the did and make this stuff happen. Uh, if you want to join the community, check out the link down below to our Discord. That's a great way to uh, hang out with the whole crew. Uh, and all the other stuff that we do on this channel. We live stream over on Twitch too. It's a great place to hang out. We'd love to see you guys there. So thanks for watching and we'll catch you all in the next one. Bye.